Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm here today with a flip through for you from a very special project that I did for my Patreon. This is the first of three flip throughs that you're going to see for three journals that are very similar in nature that were made for our project to creating um, a boiled book journal entirely made from scraps. And I go through it on my Patreon in an eight video series and I've had such fun making these. This is the first one, Beauty in the World, and I just have this little, um, pretty little card from your creative studio that I'm going to use to just show you where there are tuck spots. So the intention of the like final project of this journal is to create something that is like a place for memory keeping, doing art, you know, sticking things in, writing. It has a cover that is made from cotton that has been eco-printed. So everything in here except for the vintage photographs have all gone through they're all the result of one big pot of boiling rusty water with botanicals and bundles of paper wrapped in bundles of um, scoured cotton fabric and um yeah, they're, they turned out really cool. So um, if you're interested in seeing the overall process of how we got here, I recommend subscribing to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description box. Um, it is available for all tiers, including the lowest tier. Um, and yeah, let's jump into it. So this tie is from the same piece of fabric that we wrapped up the bundles in. And you'll see that, you know, it's got rust marks, it's got plant marks um it's very very pretty it's like a gray shade it's um it's very lovely it's just like i don't know the word i want to say like gritty or earthy um and i left the cover it's literally just the cotton why did i do that because i felt like it just lent itself to this kind of ethereal feeling and it will also because it has a wraparound aspect allow you to stuff a lot more into this journal so let's jump into beauty in the world okay so this string that you see here is cotton string that I tied. It's, it's yarn actually that I tied the bundles closed with. So you see the marks that go across. You see lots of lines on the, on the fabric. That's from these being wrapped all around in different directions and then boiled. And so the strings, they pick up browns and grays and um, I use them to stitch onto vintage photographs um, from the 1930s and 40s and a few from the 50s I think um, that are from the Waterloo Ontario region and I just used them to kind of start a story also inside these books I haven't completely packed them with ephemera there's lots of places that I left open I had a hard time doing it because I was having so much fun um, but I wanted to specifically leave these journals to be kind of something you could do some storytelling in these will be going in my shop um, on Etsy and the ephemera that's in them is also different than my typical ephemera it's made in two ways one way using scraps from the papers and pages that I had left over after creating signatures for the book. So they're very different, very like kind of weird, which I love. And then also because once I decided to add the vintage photos as another part of this book, I needed to create some more ephemera. So I used existing paper that weren't part of the pot, but were created with either rust or botanical boiled um, pots that I've done in the past. This one here you can see is a journal card has roses on the back that have printed on it and on the front it has um, a co big rusty cog imprint so the ephemera is thin in nature also by design um, so this paper all started in my scrap box like all of it and um, I have another project planned where I want to show really the magic of a boiled pot what we can do with some things that you might think would be a useless book to have in your collection i have a kind of cool idea i want to do something and i'm going to do it on my public youtube um because we've covered a lot on patreon i'm going to put something on youtube um so this is a lovely little picture this woman i believe is margaret coley is her name and i bought her family's estate of photography and this um is a scrapbook paper page there's a lot of stitching all of the pages in the signature are stitched together 
So the reason the book is called Beauty in the World is this is the music here, Beauty in the World. And here you can see a lot of botanical markings. You can see tattering all by design. So here we have the first piece of ephemera and you see this fun kind of like paper that's been stitched on here. This has all been boiled. It's so much fun. So this is your first journal card. We have a little botanical stitched right on and on back we can do some writing. And then this fun little um, photo here, this is Jack and Mary and they're laying on a picnic blanket. We've stitched more of that thread there. And in here, it's a pocket. There's a map behind and then this is some grungy, rusty paper. This paper is all sealed. You're not gonna get rust on your hands or anything like that. It's, um, it's definitely been sealed, so no worries there. Um, and then this is actually also a pocket and here it's a list of illustrations. These are, this is from a very, very old book. And then inside this little kind of long piece of paper that's been just simply folded over and stapled to be like a little notebook um, with a single page there for writing on. And this is actually a book cloth from the large book that I used that started all of this. This started as like a use your books series, which I'm going to be getting back to if you watch those. Um, and then I just kind of, it, it took a departure into its own project. So that's why it became a Patreon offering. Um, so yeah, lots of lovely marks, fun stitches, different kinds of stitches. Um, here's a, another photo here it's a little tuck spot more threads this is a little tag made from botanical paper we have another pocket here with this sweet little dog and more of the threads and that is a tuck spot some more fun paper that's been boiled this is a calendar page that's been boiled it's also a pocket and here's a piece of ephemera from the boiled pot And this has like a side tuck right there. You could put something in some nice botanicals here. This is from a lovely old book. And this is maybe one of the things that made me the happiest and where I'm going to be doing more on YouTube. It's going to kind of be in this vein, showing you how to make really interesting papers um, that feel like you got them from an old chest, you know, in a in an ancient kind of like locked up cellar somewhere like that's what we want to do. So you can see the flower, the center of a flower was actually a brown eyed Susan that's marked right here above the head here of Jean Jacques Rousseau. And stitching lots of botanical printing here on this watercolor paper. And also look at this, and this is from the Prince of Ligne, his memoirs, letters and miscellaneous papers, volume one. So you'll see this has been stitched on as like a little flip out. And then this could be a little tuck spot, the music paper, limited to 1200 and 50 numbered sets of which this is number 530. And this is La Fontaine more lovely botanical printing. This is from an old music book called Weep Some More My Lady and that's been stitched in. This is the center of the book. It's a single signature book. We've got some shiny um, green from this was jelly printed before I um, put it in here. Nondescripts of the 90s it says. And we have this little pocket here of Jack standing outside and we've got some threads here music paper and the old um, contents page from the old book and then a tag that I made from the boiled book paper. And here's the, um, the not cover, but the book plate page of the Prince de Ligne from 1902. We've got some beautiful leaf marks on it. Copyright 1899. More watercolor papers. And then here we have, this is just a little flip up. This was a digital page that went through the boiled pot as well. So it got great markings. And this sweet little picture here. And back here it says shoes, which I thought was fun. It could kind of go with her. And then a little just beautiful piece of paper that's gone through the boiled pot. And over here we have Jack on a motorcycle and some more of the fun thread. And this is a little tuck up that has just this little piece of paper in it. 
and it tucks in here and then over here this is some wallpaper that also went through the boiled pot and this is another of our strange ephemera pieces that we made from the boiled pot scrappy leftovers that I couldn't stitch as a signature um, and you know it's just a fun little writing space it has a technical diagram on the back which is really fun this page just says Hawthorne and then over here we have um, a field guide like old encyclopedia page of birds and a little scrapbook paper another picture here of these two girls and some more threads there's vintage wallpaper behind it and um, this is a rusty piece of paper to write on and then a lovely photo of these folks. This is Jack and potentially his mother and some more of the threads on a painted technical drawing, more of this fun paper, just more boiled book page with some nice like little fleur-de-lis type things from a children's book. This is the book cloth been stitched on there's some worn paper here this is this was a cabbage dyed map that also went through the boiled pot it's been stitched on it sort of tips out and inside here we've got this like little house and there's some you know fun old kind of images of like old buildings all writing space here I love the grunginess of these books this is a tuck up with another vintage photograph here of um, I believe Jack and Mary and the map behind and then a nice big piece of the rusty paper which we'll just tuck back up here and just a children's book page <clears throat> and look at all the beautiful colors from the boiling pot. This was from the old 1920s scrapbook um, that you've probably heard me talk about. This was ledger paper and then look at the back here. Isn't that just so pretty? So yeah, this ties closed very simply with a single cotton tie from the boiled book fabric. And that is beauty in the world. So stay tuned. Um, there are two other journals of this same from this same boiled pot that I will be doing videos for. Thanks so much and bye for now.